Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. This is a good question, and this is a question I had as well. Um, Brinks128, what wrasses can I keep with a bare bottom tank? I know folks do that. Yeah, so um, there's a split there too, and it's, it's genus dependent. Uh, so some genera do not need sand to sleep in. They just sleep in a mucus cocoon, cocoon in the rocks. Um, I, I, I don't mean to plug this by any means. I, I'll just clear right now. My, my site is my own thing. Um, plug, plug away, man. Plug away. Yeah. To be fully transparent, uh, rascai.com, I pay 20 bucks a year uh, with Google to keep that running, and that's it. <laughs> um, there's no sponsors on there or anything else. It's just my 20 bucks to just put my stuff out there yeah. free for all yeah. and, and not on Reef to Reef. Um, there is a buy me a snail option. It's, you know, it's through buy me a coffee on my homepage. <laughs> if, if you want to throw me a few bucks, uh, I'm, I'm not opposed, but I'm also not, you know out here soliciting funds either. well no i mean um, it's a lot of work to put that information out there so uh yeah you should uh and, and so on my my general guide I, I break it down by genera uh and and i put a note in there for each one if that genus does or does not require sand um if you have a bare bottom tank and you've got a like if you really want to keep it leopard grass which needs sand to sleep in the the only real way around it is you got to give them a sandbox uh, and, and by that, I mean a, a little container, you know, it can be Tupperware, it can be Gladware, uh, whatever, right? It can be a, a ceramic dish for that matter. Um, but, you know, a little box with just an inch or two of sand in it. And, and you can, if you've got the you know right setup in your tank, you can hide it around in the back someplace. It doesn't even need to be visible, right? It just needs to be there and th they will find it and use it. Now, of course, they're going to throw sand out over time as they use it. So you need to, you know, you need to refill the sandbox. Yeah, you're going to be vacuuming sand off your bare bottom and putting it back <laughs> in the sandbox. But if you're okay with that, that's how you can do it. Uh, John Gordon, Hunter, if you ever want a sponsor, let me know. So uh, there you go for the website. Um, All right. Thanks, John. Um, do, do, do uh, you know, wrasses that need a, a, a sand bottom that have a sandbox in a tank, is that stressful for them? I mean, is that, um, you know, a, um, a uh, an appropriate you know, way to house a, uh, a RAS or is that going to just kind of stress it out since it's going to be, you know, looking for sand uh, all over the place. But I, I guess it's kind of hard no. to ask the RAS's feelings, but. Uh. Yeah. Well, I, I've had people bring this up before and, and um, I guess, you know, after I've snorkeled enough wild reefs, you quickly, as you go around an actual reef, you quickly have the realization of the whole reef bottom is not sand, right? There's a whole lot of rock and everything else. There, there's only sand in certain areas. And so with that in mind, hmm. I don't see the problem, right? Like they, they have to be used to finding the areas that have sand in nature. So I don't see that any different in your tank. Now, there are some rasses that don't need sand, right? There are certain rasses, sure. that, right? And, and yeah. what would those be? Fairies and flashers are the two and best flashers. examples of ones that don't need it at all. Um, mm, yeah. interesting. Pseudocalymphs do not either, but again, don't mix them with other asses.